Hey, 100 Percenters. I'm so excited today to talk to you about the Vampire Facial. What is a Vampire Facial? Vampire Facial is microneedling skin pen combined with PRP. How is this Vampire Facial done? The Vampire Facial is done first with a skin pen, which puts thousands of tiny micro punctures in your skin, of your face usually, or we can do it anywhere on the body. The only way in which your body can heal these puncture wounds is by pouring out tons of new collagen and new skin. We augment that entire process by putting your very own growth stem cells from your own blood into those puncture wounds. So prior to your procedure, we're gonna draw one tiny vial of blood from your arm, spin it down in the centrifuge, take out just the growth factors, and then put that topically into those punctures. Keep in mind your own blood is your very own best medicine. It has all of your own healing factors in it and can jumpstart the job of your own stem cells. This actually jumpstarts the formation of your own collagen. The Vampire Facial is done once a month for three months in a row. What will the Vampire Facial do specifically for me? The Vampire Facial will boost the formation of your very own collagen. Because keep in mind that after the age of 25, we start to lose a significant amount of collagen every single year. The Vampire Facial will also reduce your own fine lines and wrinkles and help you feel lighter, tighter, brighter, firmer. The Vampire Facial will definitely help smooth out any kind of texture issues, especially if you have acne scarring or stretch marks. It will also, really great at this, it's shrinking down the formation of those pores, shrink down and tighten up all of the pores on your mid face. So will your Vampire Facial hurt? It's uncomfortable, so please arrive here 30 minutes prior to your appointment so we can get our numbing cream on. Our numbing cream is very, very efficient, very, very effective. You'll be lying flat on your back for about 30 minutes, and then we do your own PRP treatment right into the micropuncture wounds created by the skin pen. So after your vampire facial, what will you notice and when will you notice it? About two or three weeks after your first of the three monthly treatments, so two or three weeks after your first one, you're gonna start to notice a significant change in the tightness and the fine lines in your skin. A few weeks after your first treatment, you're gonna think you're doing great and think you're done with your treatments, but just you wait. After your third treatment, about a month or so after your third treatment, you're gonna notice a very nice, significant difference in your fine lines, your tone, your texture, and your pores. This change is gonna last for 12 to 18 months. When will I need a vampire facial done again? After your vampire facial, like we said, the changes will last for 12 to 18 months. Nothing is permanent, of course, and if somebody tells you it's permanent, please don't get that treatment done. I imagine a year later, you might need a one-time treatment done, or we might do some radiofrequency microneedling or some other type of treatment, but your vampire facial will give you a nice result for 12 to 18 months. So after my vampire facial, what's my downtime and what are my restrictions? Immediately after your vampire facial, you can return to pretty much normal activity. You're gonna be red for about two or three days. By day two, you can put some makeup on it and cover it up very easily. Any water that's clean enough to drink, so water on the face, clean enough to drink, is okay to get on your face. Any water that you wouldn't drink, please don't put on your face for a week. So bathtub water, hot tub water, ocean water, avoid that for about a week. Also, after your vampire facial, try to avoid extremes of heat and exercise for just a couple of days. Don't go run a marathon the very first day after your vampire facial. Is the vampire facial safe? Great question. Yes, the vampire facial is very safe. We're using the skin pen microneedler plus your very own blood. There's no other medication involved and so it's very natural. Any of the procedure that comes in touch with your own blood is simply disposed of after each and every treatment. So who should not get a vampire facial? Great question. You should not get a vampire facial if you have open wounds or active wounds or active acne in the treatment area, or if you have uncontrolled diabetes or poor healing abilities.